In this video, I'm going to show you how to cross stitch. Hi, this is Sarah with Notorious Needle, bringing you geeky, cheeky, and 3D cross stitch. By the end of this video, you'll learn the two primary methods of cross stitch and three to other different ways to implement them. I've been cross stitching since I was 10 years old and I've used all of these. One seems definitely easier than the other and I'll show you which one that is. For this demonstration, I'll be using DMC Floss number 552, this beautiful plum color. I'll be using a size 26 tapestry needle and 11 count 8 o'clock. This is much bigger than you might normally use. I just want you to be able to see the stitches. The first method of cross stitch I'm going to show you is the English method. You start with a slash and then you complete the X. You continue doing full crosses all the way across the pattern. And this is how it looks on the back. The second method I want to show you is the Danish method. You may have guessed with the Danish method you simply do slashes all the way across and then you complete the X's all the way across. And this is how it looks on the back, on the bottom. I definitely prefer the Danish method because the backs come out so much neater. Another way to do cross stitch the Danish way is using the sewing stitch. For the sewing stitch, you can't use a hoop because you actually fold your cloth along the row that you're stitching. And then you go one, technically stitch is like two stitches doing the other way. Almost like a running stitch across your cloth. The tricky part about the sewing method is getting the tension right. It can be very easy to make this too tight while your fabric is folded in half. And when you turn it over, it looks the same as the Danish method. You can do either the English or the Danish method two-handed. You simply place your project inside a frame. It can be a hoop or it can be a scroll frame that comes up off the floor or um, is a lap frame uh, that you use while sitting down. The two-handed method, while your project is in a stabilized frame, leaving you hands free, you simply pass the needle through one side and then using the other hand, pull the needle and pass it through from the back. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you'd like to learn about cross stitch that I didn't cover yet. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Remember, you don't have to be perfect at it, you just have to love it. Stitch on!